I mean, the production values behind this Kickstarter are incredible. I don't know if this video is going to make the final cut due to how weird YouTube is, but if we can show it, it's six minutes of the movie Real Steel. The uh, Hugh Jackman movie from several years ago. Yeah, where it was like Rock'em Sock'em Robots, but not, and it was like boxing with robots, yeah. Well, somebody saw this movie and thought, yeah. Let's make it a reality. The future is now, bringing robot fights to real life in the wrestling ring as a show. In the wrestling ring? But they're punching each other, the robots, I thought. Wrestling. Wrestling robots. Here's another thing that makes no sense, though, and I'll at least put up a picture from the movie or something. Yeah. These robots fight, right, in like a ring, yeah. but there's people in an audience, and these robots are relatively agile and very heavy. Yeah. I would think the uh, barriers of the ring might not contain them, necessarily. That's the thing, yeah. yeah. That's, but regardless, that that liability, that business liability is ignored in this Kickstarter. Mm. I think all the crowd here just came to see Hugh Jackman, really. I, yeah, I'm, Probably. I'm assuming so. But let's look at the, let's look at some of the stuff, because... Yeah, so just a, you know, a re a, I guess a realistic goal of $3 million to make this robot fighting thing a reality. Yep. You might need more than that, though. I would think. You might. It's it's incredible. Uh, this is this person's first project, too. <laughs> really? <laughs> Surprisingly. Yeah. Oh, I know. So they rip an entire movie and, yeah. Think they're new at this? Uh, before we even get into it, I'm just going to say the one thing I was wondering about was the risks and challenges section. Well, the risk is as if the project does not get funded. And the challenge is funding this project. That is not that what is the, they mean. That is the I have to put something here response. No, it's like, well, the challenge is I guess I had to fill out this whole form to put up the Kickstarter. Like, asshole, that's not <laughs> the whole thing. You and, have and, and then he thought, maybe I should put something other than getting funded and funding the project. Well, other that, other than that we are doing something what we love, inventing, and we will overcome any obstacles. But, like, it's so ridiculous. Like, like <laughs> tell me, like, what could go wrong with this business venture before I invest my money? Well, sir, it may not get funded. Getting you in to invest that money. Like, yeah. holy shit, you want $3 million <laughs> and you misunderstood that part. $3 million to make robots punch each other! <laughs> it may not get funded. <laughs> I don't get crowdfunding, but robots, yeah, I got that. <laughs> This project, oh god, this project is about making robots for fights in the ring. Now, of course, the first generation will not be as advanced as those in the- Hey, it's called BattleBots. <laughs> we I think the movie reel still had a budget of more than $3 million. <laughs> Possibly. I think even the show BattleBots had a higher production. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it did. Um, I plan to build two robots with my ideas of how it is going to be done in my designs. Why did you not include those, though? The challenge is those designs not being successful. But, like, isn't that, like, something you could do to flush this out a little more? Because this is blood from a stone for us. It's just this description and the risks and challenges Oh, but Beef, if you want to see where your money goes, well, for a show in a ring with lots of people coming to watch it and support the first show, including the ones that helped fund this project, who will get free tickets for it? Hold on. Including, you mean. Uh, yeah, um, thank you. And yes, it is possible to pull it off and make robots for the first real robots like humans fight. What? To perfect this technology, it would take 10 years from now to achieve what is in the video. Wow, we really thought about ba that. Ba based on what? But that does not mean that two robots will not smock steel and put smock on a show. Smock steel! And put on a show from the future today. The future is now let it happen, guys. The future is now let it happen, guys! <laughs> <laughs> the future is now. Please let it happen, because it's not currently happening, the future that is now. <laughs> Give me $3 million. No, come on, let it happen, guys. All right. The future is now, and it will take 10 years from now to achieve what is in the video. It is a work in progress. Bullshit. There is no fucking way you have started serious progress. My work has only just begun as I put this music over the movie Real Steel. That's step one. <laughs> they just need to be built. Do you remember that terrible Austin Powers sequel where uh, Dr. Evil showed a clip of Independence Day to simulate blowing up the White House? Oh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's this, actually. Yeah. 
that's exactly what this is. Like, look what we can do. So, if you give 10 Canadian bucks, you get a thank you certificate for your help. Oh, well, thank you. I'm glad that ships anywhere in the world and we'll just be fucking email. 25, you get a certificate and a video of the show. Before hitting the TV screen in the future. You know how the Hollywood producers say, hey, before this hits the TV screen in the future. <laughs> That's amazing. Mm -hmm. The estimated delivery for the video of the show, October 2017. This is all gonna happen in 10 months. We need about 10 years to build what robots said are in like the movie Real Steel, but I can get something together in about eight months. Not a, yeah, not only that, but like, wait, the Kickstarter doesn't even end for another two months, so we won't have the money for two months. He has six months to build the robots, get them fighting, put a show on, send you a video before it hits the TV screens. Well, at least he's putting his money where his mouth is, what with using the freemake.com editing software. Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> to do his real steal. <laughs> editing. Um, I didn't even pay attention. Were there any cuts in that video, or was it just a straight six minutes of uncut footage from the film? I, th I think he literally just married whatever music that was to the Real Steel video. Wow. Uh, $50, you get a ticket for the show, plus a video and a certificate. So so the show is going to happen in October. You get video of the show before it premieres, so maybe September? Even better, wait, so there's limited 40,000 left to 40,000. Yeah, and it's it's a middle row seat. <laughs> yes, so I don't know what a stadium is. There's 40,000 middle row seats available for this. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Well, where, where, I don't get it, though, because there's no tier for, like, you know, the back or anything, it doesn't seem like. Yeah, so. the front row has unlimited seats. What the hell's going on behind the middle of the row? <laughs> The, so if the future is now, let it happen. <laughs> For a hundred dollars, first class tickets, parentheses, front row. Oh, he's got a venue chosen as well. Montreal Stadium. Is that, is that even big enough? Like how, <laughs> I mean, I, for the robots? I don't know. Was Real Steel filmed in Montreal Stadium? I don't think that it was. You know, I just Googled, too, the capacity for Montreal Stadium. Yeah, how many? And it's 66,308. So 40,000 of those are middle row seats. Right, yes. And then 26,000 are left in all the other rows. Okay. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Let's see here. Uh, you know what I, I bet, too? The people, the people who make, made the movie Real Steel are going to be really happy when this project gets funded, oh, yeah. this sport gets made, and it turns out the person raising the money used their copyrighted footage <laughs> to actually make this happen. Oh, do you think that'll be a problem? No, they're like, hey, good for you. Please feel free. We, we don't, we're okay with other people making money off our stuff. There is no one in the world who wants a cut. Well, anybody having a problem with using the footage of Real Steel may change their tune a little bit if they pledge 250 bucks and get a tour of, I guess, Montreal Stadium, which I think they might have to sign off on. You know, in addition to it being the venue for this uh, whole affair. I like, too, the notion that you have metallic bracelets with your names engraved for 250 bucks of, like, everything else. Mm-hmm. The cheapest, the, the thing that's the easiest to make is the highest tier. Yeah. And it'll still be delivered in October. Mm-hmm. He's going to have a busy few months. Like, second quarter is going to be a nightmare. I think this whole year is going to be rough for him. Yeah. Just for the record, too, how how did Real Steel do in, on Rotten Tomatoes? Uh, let's see. It has a score of 59%, so it was apparently a mediocre movie. Mm-hmm. The good news is Real Steel, Real Steel 2 is in development, so maybe he's onto something there. Oh, okay. You know, so it's possible that this is actually more of a cult hit than I realize, but I doubt it. Maybe his robot will look exactly like Hugh Jackman. Yeah. That would draw a lot of people to Montreal Stadium, I think. I think so. Yeah.